Which one are you? <laughs> huh? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. What do you mean? No, no, sorry. Uh, on the left or the right? <laughs> Which person are you? Which guy? Oh, I didn't even look back there. I was just looking at the <laughs> menus. No, no, the guys, yeah. They're the same... Huh. I'm going to guess I'm the one on the right. I'm going to take that one. Lawrence, I'm going to blow your mind right now. I think we're both the same person. But there's two mans. How could that be? Do we have time tra Time travel. Oh! oh! I, <laughs> we truly have been here forever, Bruce. I think that... Also, I don't know, but we may need uh, proximity chat and may not may have to mute ourselves on Discord, but I don't know that for sure. Okay. Interesting. We'll, we'll see. We'll Is there see. A we were here book. Sorry, the little, the little <laughs> news widget went by a dude with a beard. Yeah, there's a series, I guess. Oh, yeah, there is a dude, dude with a beard. You're right. Chronicles of Castle Rock. Oh, it's a YouTube thing. I, okay. I guess also somebody was saying that this game originally started, the first chapter started as a student project, and then uh, they started making more and more of these. Which is pretty cool. What? That's very cool. Yeah. Oh, we're going. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I read it up finally. I think it was waiting on me. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't I thought there would be like a start. Oh yeah, oh my audio's on too, sorry. You may hear me twice. Do you hear me twice? I hope you don't. I muted you already. Oh perfect, good, okay. Two towers bathed in red. A king broken. Secrets unspoken away home did you know you're getting into steampunk tonight Lawrence I didn't uh, I didn't prepare for this did you have your steam, you have your steampunk goggles and top hat on I don't have my brass cod piece and my wax mustache available oh, what about, what about your, oh that was scary what about your steampunk bodice do you have that no oh, I left man. that at the tannery <laughs> My wool top hat is at the haberdasher. <laughs> this, couldn't be, this couldn't have caught me more unawares. Yeah, I didn't know that this was. Maybe it is. I it's actually don't. Work crafty. I don't know anything about it. I, I I only know that it's a co-op game, and that's it. That's all I know. So that just means we're going to be really good at it. That's correct. Yes, that's right. I don't know if it's like I assume it's puzzle solving, but okay, yeah, talk. maybe picking up, moving around blocks. Okay, yeah, maybe we should. Well, we are. Do we should we? Okay, yeah. Um, let's see here. So settings. Talk to your partner by holding the holding the right mouse button. So I'll mute on Discord and maybe you talk through. See. Uh, Lawrence, can you hear me? Copy that, Lawrence. Can you hear me, Roger? I can't hear you in game. Uh, maybe because you muted me. I think I un I think I unmuted you. Let me make sure that huh. Well, let me let me I'll check my settings as well. Um audio voice chat turn on my voice chat Wait, I think my mic is probably can you can you hear me in the game? No, I've not heard you at all not once. Okay, yeah. I think I think I might know why that is. I have to change my No worries, yeah. In Windows, which means I have to quit the game. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah, there would. I didn't see a setting to uh, to change the mic in the game. No, it's all good. It's all good. Um, I'll make yeah, sure that mine is, is mine is working. I think yours was. I'm pretty sure I saw your your portrait lighting up in the menu. Yeah, I did, I saw that too. I just I uh, but it looks like maybe it's only activated in game when you press the button. Oh yeah, and then uh, my chat is saying that. If you both are talking at the same time, you won't hear each other. It's just like an actual walkie-talkie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to say over. Roger, over. Are we going to say over, over every time? Over. Oh, over? Bruce, you didn't say over, so I didn't know if you were finished talking. And then when you say over and out, that means it's the end of your, your, what, sentence? Transmission? Yeah, that means you're about to go do something cool. Over and out, okay. And then Roger, if you hear it, or copy. Oh, I, gotta, I failed to connect this time. Oh, let me see if I can invite you. Invite. Do you, you see have that? to be at the lobby. Accept. Over now, it means you're dead. Oh. 
Oh, 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 there we go. I hear I you heard, now. I heard my yeah. Great. Okay. I ready to. Okay. Okay. You should be able to hear me now in game, right? I can hear you in game. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Great. We're good to go. Cool. Can you hear me? Am I all crackly? Am I mic crackly? I, I, you sound pretty good, actually. Two towers bathed in red. I guess there is a squad stream as well for, for Lawrence and my chat. Broken. Squad stream exists. Secrets unspoken. A way home for those love dead. Oh, I face defeat. Let's see which fate our guest shall meet. <laughs> All right, let's make sure that Lawrence, you can't hear me right now, probably, right? I don't think you can. I don't think Lawrence can hear me chat. This is good. This is when I say really nice things about Lawrence. Like he's an incredibly intelligent, sensitive person. Because he can't hear me. His face smells like flower petals. Exactly. Uh, hey, Lawrence, can you hear me? I can hear you, Bruce. Uh, Lawrence, I've got, I'm getting some uh, uh, instructions from chat. Affirmative means yes. Negative means no. Roger means the message was heard. Stand by means please wait. Over. I have finished speaking. Copy or re read using a sentence to confirm your message was heard or understood. As in, do you copy me? Do you get all that? Roger. Copy. Over. Great job. Over and out. If you over and out, does that mean I can talk? I can't reply anymore? Is that That's right. You can talk because... We can't talk at the same time or else it'll interrupt us. But you said over and out, and then you, you kept, you responded again. He's... Roger. Ro Roger. <laughs> Copy. Wait. Over and out. Shit, I talked over you. I'm sorry. It's okay, but over and out uh, again. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Before I over and out. I don't think I can do anything. I'm in a I'm in a room with some locked doors, and that's it. Okay, so I'm actually in a room walking around opening other doors. So let me see if I can get to you. Over and out. I mean, you don't need to be go over and out. You could just stay over. Okay, I thought we I thought we had to stay over and out. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. Over. Over. <laughs> All right, I see some symbols. I see some symbols. Uh, I see a circle with a triangle uh, inside the circle and then a star inside that triangle. I see a... Oh. Okay, wait. Wait, did, What were the three symbols again? Uh, circle on the outside, triangle inside the circle, and then star inside the triangle. Oh, Fruitsy! Welcome officially to the Goose's Okay, I have a series I have a series of three symbols here, but they're individual shapes, not combined shapes. Uh, understood. What are the symbols? So here we got a got a plus sign, a triangle pointing left, uh, kind of a lightning bolt, star, and then Gosh, how would you describe this? Oh, thank you, Bionic, for the three hundred bits. Stabilize, gifted to Prime Glass. It's like a cheer, stable, a cheer diamond from Twitch, and then uh, yes, that makes sense. Hmm, Caltrop. Yeah, Caltrop works. Sure. What what the hell is a Caltrop? Over. <laughs> okay, it's this, it's three lines. Imagine that you have a triangle, and from each of the points of the triangle, you draw a line from that point to the center of the triangle. That's kind of what it is. Got it. Understood. Okay, so I'm also just, I mean, like, it sounds like your symbols might match up with some of the symbols I'm looking at, which is, the again, the circle, and then a triangle inside the circle, and then a star inside the triangle. So it's like basically three, it's 
It's two symbols inside of a circle, the triangle and the star. Okay. So wait, what what was the first symbol? What are the what is that? Let's see if we can match that. Uh I mean the first it's all one symbol, but the first the first symbol that you see on the outside of this larger symbol is a circle. Okay. Your leftmost icon is a circle. Is it just a circle or is there something else? Uh well, I wish I knew how to communicate this correctly. So, it's one symbol. And it's all combined. So it's circle on the outside, triangle on the inside the circle, and then star inside the triangle. So it's like all everything is inside the circle. Does that make sense? It does. I think I understand. Let's see if I can turn this. Okay, so okay, I get it. So it's circle, star, and then what's the third shape? Uh well, it's circle, triangle, star. What kind of star? How many points does it have? Great question. Uh, five points. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. There we go. Hey, what'd you do? What'd you do? Solved the lock. I'm moving forward. Over. Great job. You saw. You saw. So you opened a door on my side. Oh, that opened one for you, huh? Yes, sir, it did. Over. Oh, yeah. Over. So, wait, are we... I wonder if we're going through the same environments. Uh, oh, hold on a minute. Okay, I, I can jump. I have... So, I'm... Also, by the way, I didn't tell you... There was another thing. I was looking through more, like, what looked like jail bars, and I see three words that say dot, 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 of our parts. Okay. I don't think I've seen anything like that yet, but I'll keep an eye out. Roger that. Oh my god. I saw a creepy thing over. Uh, copy that. I, I just opened another door to another room, so that may have done it. Uh, you see anything else? Everything everything looking good over there? Yep, just solved a little dash puzzle. Okay, now I've got another another puzzle similar to the one we just did where I have three tumblers that have symbols on them, except I can move them around now, it looks like. Copy that. Let me see if I can find some symbols for you. Never mind. I can't move them around, but yeah, if you haven't if you can find another symbol to parse into a Oh wait, I've got it this time. Never mind. I wonder if this is the solution for the one on my side. I'll try it and let you know. Over. Oh, I also have the same thing. So I have two tumblers. Uh, and looks like there's there's one missing in the middle. Oh, I, I have it right here. Okay, so the symbols that I have do not match my tumbler. So I might have to give them to you. Over. Uh, Roger that. You go right ahead. I have I have three symbols so going from left to right. You tell me which ones to change, and I'll do it. Okay, we got a circle, a pentagram, and a diamond. Okay, bad news. The one on the left does not have a circle as a choice. Yeah, they might not be in that order. Um, so circle will be on one of them, and then pentagram will be on one of them, and then diamond that kind of has a wider top will be on one of them as well over uh roger that okay I, uh, you said circle diamond pentagram is that correct that's correct all right circle diamond pentagram additionally um there's a there's an other half of a message over my door that says dot 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 will open the path over Copy that. All right. I'm. Um, do you mean by the diamond the uh, little bit symbol on Twitch? Yes, that is correct. The Twitch bit over. Nailed it. That opened my door. We're good to go. Let's 
It's good news. I'm blocked at a door with a similar lock. So if you see another set of symbols, let me know. Oh, Hoover. Uh, oh, copy that. I'm staring at a scary man in the doorway. Hold on. Let's see here. Uh, same deal. I've got three tumblers. Huh. Do you not... Did you not have... Did you not find any other symbols to feed to me? Uh, no. Are you at a door that needs the three symbols? Hold on. I'm, I'm going to look around a little more. That is correct. Yeah, I'm at a three symbols door. Over. All right. I believe I have found it. Uh, over. Uh... Oh wait, I'm sorry. That that's the end of my sentence. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, uh rot, rot. I believe I found it. What do I want to say here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, one symbol is uh three lines. So like, basically looks like kind of the beginning of an asterisk. It's a three line symbol, and then one is a square, and then one is I think that's a hexagon. Is that six sides? One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Is that a hexagon? Thank you, chat. Huh. I've set those symbols and it didn't open this door. Over. I may have I may have uh, not described it correctly. Um, I don't know if it matters, but the hexagon is on the outside. The square is the second one on the inside. And then the third one inside is the three line symbol. Yeah, it seems like those are the ones that I've set. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I know which what you're referring to, but... Hmm. Was there any messages over the doors? Because I have, I have the dot 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 will open the path business up here. Uh, I do not have any of that. Hold on a second. Uh, do you happen to have three symbols? Because I also have three tumblers. You don't, right? I did, but they're the ones you used to solve the last door that you went through. Over. Uh, Roger that. Hold on. Um, I'm. Remember, uh, I want everybody to know in chat that you shouldn't give us too many hints, otherwise it might be it might be too easy. Oh wait, hold on, Lawrence. I hold on. I found it. Never mind. Hold on. I got it. Okay, you ready for some more symbols? I'm ready. Hit me. Over. All right, so the first symbol is, it is what looks like kind of a, is that a, not a rhombus? It's like a, it's like, it looks like a lead bar or like an ingot. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, parallelogram? Kind of, but it's, uh, I think a parallelogram is all parallel sides and this one's not. Um, and then. Ah, I think I know what you mean. It's like a triangle with a top cut off. That's exactly right. Uh, and then the next symbol is semicircle. And then the next symbol is a cool looking heavy metal S. K Click. Door open. Thank you very much. Absolutely no problem. I've got a torch over. Oh, yeah. I got a torch a while back. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, for me, okay, I have more symbols for you. Oh, great. Okay, all right. So this should be for my door here. And is crescent moon triangle hexagon. Okay. Oh, that, that was triangle. Whoops. Uh, all right, hold on. Sorry. Where's the crescent moon? I'm looking for the crescent moon. There it is. Um, okay, door open, and then I may have another set of symbols for you. Okay. I'm, I'm at a door, but I'm missing a tumbler, so until I can find that. I don't need any symbols. Not yet, anyway. Over. 
Uh, copy that over. What would you say your favorite fa flavor of ice cream is, over? Um, probably something like Rocky Road or chocolate peanut butter. I also really like vanilla. Over. Vanilla is a solid pick. I, I could go for some vanilla. Over. Yeah, I just love I just love vanilla. I know I know it's boring, but I love it. What about you, Lawrence? Man, there's a reason it's lasted forever. Uh, I let's see. I like coffee flavored ice cream, but I'm just kind of into coffee in general. This is a real coffee phase of my life, like the last ten years. Over. Uh, that's a real good choice. Over. Can't go wrong with ice cream or honestly almost any of it. And you got to mess up pretty bad to have bad ice cream. <laughs> over. Actually, wait, no, not over. I don't. I don't know where my. <laughs> I'm in a room. I guess I just got to keep looking. Oh, there it is. I found it. Never mind. Okay, I'm ready for symbols if you have. Hey, Greg Eponymous. Over. Thanks for the resub, Greg. Uh, copy that. Are you right? Okay, so here's the other symbols. Uh, the first one is a hexagon. The next one is a square. And the next one is the three lines. This is the one I was giving you before. And yeah, she's open. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Beautiful. Over. Over, over. Uh, Roger, over. Ooh, emote! Wait, I... I should see him. I should see Lawrence, right? I should be able to see you somewhere, right? I am holding open... Uh, yeah, it seems like this is something we have to do together. I'm holding open a spike door, and there's a way to see through to another another room with a lever in it over this, this is interesting because I yeah I'm I'm it says like hey you should emote is it asking you to emote not at the moment hmm why would I do that if there's nobody here to see me emote I think I see where you should be. I can see through the... Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, there we are. All right, I'm going to emote. Somebody find wave you got there over. <laughs> I wish I wish I could say, hey! Hey! good enough right I mean we did it yeah oh, I think we beat the game what did you hit to emote uh, I have a uh, hold T I like it Stuck? It's stuck. All right, great. We're out of here, Bruce. We did it. Over. Yeah, we, we got it, right? You, you got through, yeah? Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah. All right. Zoom by holding the mouse button. Oh, okay. Middle mouse? Some very relaxing music in here, Rover. Oh, you see these puzzles? Over? I do over! I accident- Oh, there was an item that I needed. Oh. Over. So I have the green key. Do you- What do you have? I have the blue key over. Do you, do you think we need to trade? I think we do. Uh, yeah, here, I can send the blue key over to you. All right, I'm going to send the green key over to you, over. All right, you got the blue key coming to you, over.
All right, you should be able to. You should be good to move it. Here she comes over. I like seeing the little light turn on whenever I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, it is actually kind of nice. And we're through. Ooh. Oh, I got a lot of. I got something going on. Yeah, we, we both made the same sound because uh, I saw the same thing at the same time. I don't know what this is. Uh, move vertically. Oh, uh, Lawrence, you're actually doing that. You're moving mine. Oh, they're connected? Oh, maybe there are pieces that only I can move and pieces that only you can move. Can you move the the crown piece? You can! Oh my gosh! All right, yeah, move that move that down if you could. Uh, below the middle the middle lane, yeah. All right, and then we got to move the potion into the middle. And then this looks like a mustache. I don't know what the heck's going on here. I don't know where this goes. Uh, I don't either. Hold on a second. Horizontal. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to move some stuff around because we have to get the bishop piece through to the other end. Yeah, you'll have to move that. Yep, you got it. Oh, we're all gonna we're gonna have to scoot all this stuff out of the way. Um, wait a minute. How is this going to work? Yeah, you got to move the potion in the middle over to the right. Uh, even further. There you go. You're going to have to get it on the other side, though. So let's see here. Yeah, that'll work. That's some good puzzling. Oh my gosh, we're fucking geniuses. Over. Over. Ooh. All right, so I am looking at a locked door with a red key behind it, and I have to solve a puzzle right next to it. Okay, so I have a machine here. And it looks like it's a cipher. Essentially, it translates one icon into another one. And then I have a row of symbols at the bottom. It is like a coffee bean, a seashell, a crystal ball, uh, another shell, <laughs> uh, and the, uh, yet another shell. Okay, I'm going to have to de devise words for that. But do you see anything that's that's like that imagery? Over. Hmm. All right. So here's what I have. I have the puzzle I have is four dials that can be rotated to specific dots and that's it so i don't see any symbols interesting all right well that may not relate to what i'm looking at then i have a timed like a timed translation cipher of certain pictographs into other ones so i'll keep looking around and see what's going on over let me see if uh if i change the i'm gonna change these dials let me know if anything changes on your side over I believe I've found the solution for the dials. You said there's four, correct? That is correct, over. Are they arranged in like a grid? Like top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right? That is correct, over. Great. Then I believe I have a solution for you. Top left, pointed straight up. Top right dial should be pointing to the bottom left. Bottom left dial should be pointing to the top right. And the bottom right dial should point to the bottom right. Alright, I, th I, I, I think... Hold on, I think I might... So, top left is uh, pointing to the very top. Over. Over. 
Oh, yeah. Yes. Top left dial pointing straight up is correct. And then top right is pointing diagonally down left. That is correct. Okay. Bottom left is pointing uh, diagonally top right. That's correct. And then bottom right is pointing diagonally bottom right. It's also correct. <laughs> I'm an idiot and didn't open the door. We got it. I like that I can hear the uh, puzzle solved chime. Oh, that did something for me. It unlocked a lock on this side. Over. Uh, copy that. I have, I have now a basket that moves between us. Over. You can kind of see it in the middle of the map. Yeah, I see that over. I have a couple of discs with numbers on them. I've been picking a few of those up. And then there's this rug on the wall with dots and indicators pointing to those dots. So we might need that at some point. Oh. Uh, Roger that. I, I, ha I also have a, uh, a room... That's oh I can push this. Hold on. I think I need both of us. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, hop hop in that basket. We need uh, I need two people. Nothing beats rock. Over. <laughs> oh, paper. You got me. <laughs> All right, so I need your help over here on this thing. Nice job. You looked strong. Why, th so did you. You looked great. Uh, do you need that green reel? I don't know if I do or not yet. I've picked up a couple of them. Um, I guess I have this key now. Uh, do you have a... It looks like I need a red triangle key. That's what I'm looking for. There was a door over here that was locked. I'm sure it's behind that. Yeah, Ace Case is weird that we, we still have to use our radios because I... Uh, it looks like our mouths are covered. Got him, Clint. <laughs> what, what, is, what is that? Blue? Is that a blue? Or is that green? I can't tell what color that is. I think it's a blue. So I have the blue diamond, I think, or it's just a, maybe a, just a standard diamond key. And then I have also another blue key as well. There's a red diamond door over here. Oh, okay. All right. I have a, I have a yellow diamond key and a blue cross key. Hmm. Yeah, we need we need a uh, red triangle key, but you said you said you found red diamond, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you can go over to the other side and check it out if you want. Oh, no, no. I, I trust you. I just don't know. I don't I'm not sure where else to go. I I'm kind of stopped right there. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Can we can you fit two people in here? Sure can. Ooh. Hey, welcome to this side of things. Yeah, this is the weird. This is like this thing over here is on a timer. Probably gonna have to mess with that at some point. Oh yeah, copy. Where was the um? You said red diamond. Yeah, that's over right over here. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. Look at this. We're best friends. We can't talk to each other except for on radios. Only the best friends talk on radios. Man, oh, you fun. can talk while you're pushing the thing too? Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. What are we even doing right now? What <laughs> I was just thinking that. I don't know. Yeah, we can just keep pushing it. I don't know if it's doing anything, though. Was it raising this thing? Maybe this over here? What are you doing? Aha! We have to repair the machinery with a gear of some sort. Oh, uh, yes. You are correct. All right. I have a big puzzle right here. Um... With a bunch of symbols and... Oh, this might be the timer that we were looking at? This is absolutely the timer we were looking at. Alright. I... I guess you have to push... Okay. Okay. Um... Huh. What does this mean? Oh! Something happened. Uh, do you want me to run back and take a look at the symbols? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, sure, if you want to. Did I go the wrong way? So, the way it works is, okay, this shows go. me a symbol. I have to describe it to you. And then you tell me what that symbol translates to on the wheel. Because it resets every so often. Oh, are you over there now? Yeah, there you are. Yeah, so... But I'm looking at five symbols and they change. Yeah, it's like a... It's a cryptogram, basically. So... Um, but, okay, all right, wow. Uh, should I give you, I have to give you all five? And then you tell me what it translates into. Oh, thanks a lot, Alax. A lot for the resub. And then we only have to do one at a time for each time the timer goes around, if that makes sense. Yeah, how many buttons are there? Are there six or five? I have six over here, but it, it tells me one symbol, and then I just have to hit one other button for that symbol. Okay, well, um, I don't know how we want to do this time because it's ch it changes every, what, three, four seconds? Here, I'll tell you what I need now. Okay, so I need the long, it's like the long spinny seashell. It's kind of like an arrowhead. It's very long and pointy. Yeah, that's the, that's the closed clamshell. Looks like a vagina. <laughs> closed clamshell. <laughs> okay, same one. What is, uh, what does it translate to? Now, now it's like a shiny, what looks like a tomato. Okay, we got it. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, it is a wide fan seashell. That's the long spiny one. All right, let's see if we got it. Yeah. All right. Three. Uh, espresso bean. And espresso bean is vagina. Oh. Wait, which one is vagina? Oh. Okay, all right. See which one vagina is. Okay, sorry, espresso bean. What's bean now? Espresso bean is vagina. Yeah, I just, it's it's tomato, shiny tomato. <laughs> okay, sorry, I forgot to let go of the radio that time. All right, uh, spiny, twirly spiny shell. Uh, now that's the one that looks like uh, coiled dog poop. Nice. Got it. Tomato. 
That's long spiny shell. Uh, tomato again. Uh, this looks like an ice cream cone. It's like a long ice cream cone. Yeah! Nice. We got it. Sheer communication. Oh, <laughs> sorry, what did it give you? We got, uh, the gear. Needed to fix this other thing. I got a yellow key. And, uh, another disc with a number in it. Disc Over. Copy that. Another disc with a number in it, I wonder. I found another puzzle, too. It looks like dominoes, almost. What's up, Hank? <laughs> C4, man, we never played, with, we never played it before. Let's go take a look over here. Oh, this is such a relaxed, nice night. I like this. Moy Gusta, thanks for the resub. Moy! Welcome. Aha! Uh, so... We can do this thing now, right? It should work. Yeah, let's see if this moves anything. I think we might need another gear. Uh-oh. Yeah. What? Hey, Skitties, I'm replying to you right now. Nothing beats rock. <laughs> so, do. <laughs> so here's the other domino puzzle. Yeah, haven't seen what this goes to yet, but I'm sure we will soon. We have to go back to the other side, maybe. I don't know why I like that animation so much. <laughs> yeah, it's very deliberate. Oh, that's not good. What What did we get the key to? We just picked up a key. Uh, what color was it? Yellow. Looks like a yellow diamond. Oh, man. Um, that's a good question. A really good question. I don't know. I don't. I don't see. It's like a yellow, like a um, kind of an upside down teardrop. That thing, yeah. Yeah, I'm holding it. Oh, no! Oh! Sorry, I wasn't sure if you were coming with me. Devastated. I'm coming back for you, Lawrence. I'm shaking my fist at you. Look at this. The sheer, the sheer rage. <laughs> I'm just waving at you. I, I, honest mistake. <laughs> Bye. Over. One, two, three. Oh, it's it's right here. Gosh darn it. Uh, no worries. We've got a little puzzle on our hands here. Oh, and Thor's hammer. Okay, so I turned on the movie projector here. Oh my gosh, this is fucking adorable. This is fucking adorable.
Okay, we got all the, uh, I guess we got all the, all the discs. We gotta turn the key. And then sparks happen. Oh my gosh, gotta hit this button, hit these sequences. Get the purple smoke. <laughs> are you are you comprehending all of this? Sure. Okay, when it's purple, you gotta throw the red switch. And then the wheel turns. <laughs> There's no way. Is he writing this down? Gotta turn the valve and then we get the coil, I think. Are you writing all of this down? Uh -huh. You can remember all of it? Let's do. Oh, then you gotta you gotta pull blue. Okay, when the coil turns. All right, let's do it. Uh, where was that key? It's right here. Got it. All right, sparkles are here. What's the sequence? Let me check. Or actually, you might have to read it out to me. Yeah. Uh, so now we're in sparks, and then now it's one on the right side, one on the far right top. Oh boy. Got the purple smoke? Oh, we ran out of time. Here, hold on. Purple smoke! That means red switch, I think. Uh, see if we can throw that red switch. I got it. Can you do the blue one? I don't think we do blue yet. Uh, I think we're right, locked down. Thanks maybe, for the Let's watch this again. Oh, oh, I think I think we, uh, you and I both have to hold the red switch. There's two red switches we got to hold. Oh, okay. Where's the other one? Oh, that one. Hold on. Maybe we do that then? Alright, so purple smoke happens. Thanks, Lockdown. That's very nice of you to say. You're right. Yep, we gotta do both. And then... Alright, then the, the wheel starts to go. Wherever that is. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. We gotta put the... the okay, we gotta do the trolley, and then we also gotta hit the lever for the... Whistle. Where is that? Uh, I think it's right down here. This is there's a lever right here. Man, this is There's <laughs> this one here, but then there was that other like pressure valve. Yeah. Uh hold on. Oh, it's right here. I found it. I found it. Is that it? Eh. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. The, what, what is that then? That's a really good question. That might be the last step. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got to pull, pull the thing, hit the blue switch, and turn the key at the last step. Oh, wow. Okay. So we still haven't found that other lever, right? Yeah. It's like a lever on a pipe that leads to a steam whistle. Oh, I got it. It's on the other side of the boiler over here. Oh, yep. That's the one. Okay. Okay, I think we got it now. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Key first. And then I'll hit these buttons over here. Got that purple smoke. I'll hit this. You went. Okay, you're taking that one. I got the red switch. Did we get it? This one moves really slowly, but yeah, I'm pulling on it. Got it. All right, there's that one. I'll get the whistle in the back. And then after this, it's the pull chain, the blue switch, and something else. One other thing. Uh, the key, the key. You got to turn the key.
have to be in this order? Probably. Yeah! We did it! Oh! Wait, what happened? It's opening this giant mine door. We're getting in. There's, they're getting into where all the treasure is. Uh, I wait. I don't think. I don't think we're treasure hunters. I'm pretty sure we're locked in here. Is it prisoner extraction? What's up, watermelon? Okay, yeah, that's a good point. But <laughs> we could also get treasure while we're on our way out. I mean, yeah. Hopefully, there's treasure in this prison. <laughs> <laughs> Where people keep treasure, right? <laughs> well, this is cozy. There we go. Doors open. Oh, you, you had that one. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Um, and then there's another puzzle. Right here to get the red triangle key. It's this. It's one knob. Ah, uh, okay. This is the. Uh, yeah, this is the one, the like domino-looking one that was on the, the rug. I uh, can read it to you if you want. Okay. Yeah. What do you feel more comfortable doing? I'll head back. Hey, Garth. Godspeed, little friend. I wonder if I can see you from my little cart. Um, Lawrence, he missed it. He missed it. I'm right here, Lawrence. Not too far. Oh, no. You, you, I saw you go by. You just didn't see me. <laughs> there you are. Okay, all right. Upper left. Uh, well, wait a minute. What? How many knob positions are in the upper left for you? So, uh, six. Okay, and how many in the upper right? Three. Aha! I see. They're trying to. They're trying to trick us. Okay. So this is flipped. All right. The upper left six. You want the knob pointing straight down. Copy. Okay, upper right with the three dots. You want it pointing to the upper right dot. Uh, there is no upper right dot. There's only an up, uh, down left, and down right. Interesting. All right. Then let's take it back. Let's take it back. The upper left, the six, try having it point straight up. That it can do because there's six spots, yeah. Okay, and then the three dots in the upper right have it point down, down left. Excuse me. Oh, uh, that works. Down left. Okay, and then, and then I guess what, like, what kind of dial do you have in the bottom left? Uh, bottom left is five points, and it's like five points of a star. Okay, bottom. Uh, turn the dial to the bottom right. Copy that. And then for the final square, it should be four dots in a diamond pattern. Have it just point to the right. Got it! Nice. I think I can pass this key over to you with this basket. What? I don't know if you need to, though. What key is it? That's a red diamond key. It's coming over. I, th I thought red diamond was on your side. I could be wrong, though. Mm, well, I can. I think I can. I can just cross over and take it. Sorry, it's red. It's red triangle, not red diamond. I. I think I. I think I know where to take this. I think. Oh, this is an elevator. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I unlocked the most recent room in the main room that you kind of came into. And there's a another card in there. So, I think you may have to come back here and call the elevator up cuz right now I'm kind of I'm stuck here. Oh, you can't call it? 
I don't see a lever anywhere. To, weirdly. <laughs> All right, I picked up, I picked up the gear we need to fix the, uh, the crank in the middle, but it's so big it covers most of my screen. Oh, nice. I mean, yeah, just drop it in there for me to see where I'm going. I don't think I can put it down either. Oh yeah, we're just chilling out, chat. No, don't worry about back seating. We're just oh my gosh. Okay, well there was still a locked door back there, but I'll I'll take this gear on over to the main assembly. Yeah, it's huge. I saw it come over on the elevator. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I'm stuck up here. I don't I don't uh, I don't see how to go back down. Okay. I uh, yeah, let me try to ride the elevator <laughs> back your way then. Um where <laughs> Jay shucks, I'm trying to remember where that was. Hello, friend! <laughs> and chat, I can talk to you now. I can talk to you right now, chat. And I, and Lawrence can't hear me, it's great. We can have our own little conversations. It's so big. Alright, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Uh. I'm gonna tell you a secret. Uh I farted 20 minutes ago, and no one knew. That sucks, I can't emote while I'm holding this thing. I mean, it's basically one big emote. Oh, that's a really good way to think about it, Bruce. I really like that positivity. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's You don't that's mute your mic, off. you activate your mic to uh, talk to Lawrence. Alright, let me... Because, yeah, I'm gonna... You're gonna have to help push this thing in the middle anyway. Let's see poor mailman. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I I could not leave. That's weird. <laughs> that's that is really weird. I guess it makes sense. Like it's not soft locked or anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, here we go. Things are moving. Is it going? Oh yeah, it's raising something. Next! Oh, Max, thanks for gifting. 15. <laughs> Bionic, you didn't know! Don't you dare, Bionic. Oh. Alright. So I don't have any keys anymore. Oh yeah, I took all my shit. Into the birdcage! Wait! Wait, help! Help! <laughs> what, what do we do? <laughs> oh, maybe I have to lower you down. Help! Next, thanks for gifting to Blended Prosciutto, Taka Star, Mole Rack, Raisin Brand Muffin. No. <laughs> what happened? Joe Magician. Help me! It won't let me! <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bionic, thanks for the 1,000 bits, Bionic. Uh, huh. Can maybe, you you, maybe I gotta use controls or something to lower you? What the? Can you open the door? You can't open the door, right? There we go. I found it. I guess I'm going by myself to somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. It's probably good for you. Uh, um. All right, I'm I'm looking at a compass here, and I got a bunch of different symbols surrounding the compass. I'll have fun in there, I guess. Well, wait, what? A, what? Ah! Um, I'm very lonely. <laughs> that was a perfectly cut scream. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so what are you looking at now? Because I'm looking at that compass in the middle. It's basically like a vault door, and there's a bunch of symbols surrounding the compass all over. I mean, I'm just back in the room we came from. That's it. Now the door is shut again, and I'm over here. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute, hold on. What do I do? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's got to be somewhere that you can change a symbol, or you need to look at something, maybe? 
Maybe? Oh, there we go. Okay, there was a ramp that it just wouldn't let me go up before, but now I can. All, All right. right, I'm on my way. Oh my gosh, scared the shit out of me. I was like, what, am I, what did I miss? I'm, I'm an idiot. And I found a side tunnel. Okay, I'm in a room with various items. That's right, Tony. Spread that love, Tony. Uh, do you see a compass or any specific symbols anywhere? I do. I see a... Yes, a compass. All kinds of shapes. Got some lore here. Got some pages. Oh, lore? Oh, I'm missing out on the lore? All right, so can you move any of those symbols at all or no? Let me let me see. I uh, let's see. In, in this journal, it appears to be giving me a series of disc positions. Yeah, that's right. So okay, so I'll try and describe what I have. So I have a compass in the middle, and then I have three discs uh, radiating outward. I have an inner disc, a middle disc, and an outer disc, and each one of those discs has symbols on them at locations in the compass. I know it's hard to understand. I think I understand. Let's see what happens here. I uh, I have the same thing on the wall. Uh, I have northeast, southwest in the middle of three concentric circles. Uh, the innermost ring to the compass is, a, is all circles. There's circles on the circle. The next is a ring of squares, and the final is a ring of pentagrams all around the outside. Uh, I also have machinery that I haven't really played with yet. To see what it does. Okay, yeah, so the circles, squares, and pentagrams you're describing all have symbols inside them on my uh, little vault door. Oh, this is a lot. There's a projector in this room that has three sets of lenses that I can change and then insert into the projector. And when it's inserted into the projector, it shines pretty complicated symbols onto all of those plates. Yeah. Uh, the circular plates, the square plates, and the pentagram-shaped plates. Yeah, that's you got it. That's it. So I'm looking at those symbols uh, that are on those different shapes like circle square and pentagram sorry could you repeat that oh yeah sure sorry yeah so um i am looking at those symbols that are projected onto the circles squares and pentagrams okay uh we can probably line them up then um the thing that the thing that interests me though is that there are these notebooks on this table that have symbols listed on them too. One is a set of three, and then the other is a set of four. And each set is a series of eight symbols that surrounds the compass. Okay, all right, so hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like I have nine symbols around my compass right now. So many shapes and circles. This is like the shit they teach you in kindergarten. Guys, this is why you went to kindergarten. Oh, I only count uh, eight on eight symbols. There's one for each direction, northeast, southwest, and then one for each between direction as well. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I have... Uh, I'll tell you, I have two circles, I have three squares, and I have four pentagrams. Yeah, Zalgor, yeah. Nap time. Wait, what's the number of circles, squares, and pentagrams you have again? I have two circles, three squares, and four pentagrams. Hmm. 
okay. Okay, let me see here. I think if I if I don't miss my get. Let me see. Okay, so purr. No, you're not, Sarah. Don't lie. Don't lie, Sarah. I can also I can also give you directions as to where those circles are on the compass if that'll help. It may? Um hmm. All right. Where is where is just, let's just pick one just out of curiosity. Where's one circle on your compass? Yeah, okay. So one circle is uh northwest and it's um on the innermost circle northwest and what symbol does it have on it it's kind of a weird one so there's a circle and then like a squiggly line below it just one squiggly line well it like there's like a tiny little circle and then a little a squiggly line or a straight line comes out of it and then a squiggly line is below all of that Okay, I think I've matched that symbol. Okay, now for squares. Where is a square that you see? All right, I've got a northeast square on the second most, uh, outer, I guess, outer innermost ring. What symbol does it have on it? So this symbol is, there's a circle in the middle of three lines. Kind of curvy lines. Okay, I've matched that one. Pick a pentagram and let's uh, let's match that one. Okay, so this pentagram uh, does it matter? By the way, which circle it's on? Like there, are the, there. Like I said, there are three concentric circles: innermost, middle, and then outer. Does that matter? I don't think so because innermost is all circles, middle is all squares, and outermost is all pentagrams, cool. right? Yeah, no, I think you're right. Okay, cool. I won't, then I won't describe what that is. So, uh, the one pentagram is directly north. And what symbol does it have? Uh, it looks like like a wine cup uh, with a little cherry in the, in the cup. Oh, I think I see which. I think I've seen that one. Hold on. I don't know what Lawrence is looking at. <laughs> What's up, Brigade? All right, Fusion. Oh, okay, there it is. Well, I think I've matched all the symbols, but uh, it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to have solved anything. Well, there's there's a lot more. So I've still got like six more symbols. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a lot more symbols as well. So so for me, basically, I can set, for each of the three concentric rings, the ring of circles, the ring of squares, and the ring of pentagrams, I can change what symbols appear on those rings, but it's all tied together. So if, if, like, if I match one, theoretically it matches the rest of them, unless there's duplicates, which there might be, actually. So let's, I guess let's, uh, let's verify a couple things. So for the center, the most, the innermost ring... The stuff that's on circles. Can you read out some more symbols that are in various directions of the compass? Yeah, there's only one more circle, um, and that is southeast. What's on that one? Uh, that is what looks like uh, two C's on the outside and a line down the middle of those C's. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that matches what I have. All right, so let's go with the, the squares now. Uh, just, I guess, pick another one. All right, there's a square immediately west. Okay, what's that one? Uh, it looks like a little turtle holding up its its arms. Okay, so I see a circle with like two semicircles on the top and bottom of it. Does that does that describe what you see? Um, I, well, this symbol is only one semicircle, like a turtle shell. 
and there's a line below the semicircle and then two lines that look like antenna coming out of the top. Okay, I may have mismatched that one. Let's, let's see if I can find it. Man, that's tough. I don't know what the fuck that is. A turtle? Okay, I think I got closer to that one. So, what? can you read off some other squares for me? Yeah, there's a square immediately south. Shrek peeking over a fence. Turtle going, What's in that? This probably looks like well, what an like we imagine an alien would look like. It's got like an eye, one one eye, like a cyclops eye in the middle, and then it's got antenna on the top. Okay. Okay, I think I see that one. Letters D and C, yeah, kind of, but then I don't know what the line is. Apart from the C. Okay, I think that one's set correctly. And then let's go back to pentagram. Can you read off some of those? Yeah, there's one pentagram directly east. What's in that? Uh, this one looks like um, a man wearing a baseball. Oh, wait, it's moving. It's moving. Yeah, I just, sorry, I just got it. We're solved, baby. Okay, so we solved it. And I, I, I still can't move. The door is open. <laughs> I just had a very traumatic experience. The hell? Creepy man grabbed a book from my hands. <laughs> oh shit. Um wait, hold on. Alright, so you creepy man grabbed a book from your hands. I'm now looking at the same thing, which is like a compass with a light in the middle that's changing color and the same amount of symbols on it again. Ditto secret. Thank you, Ditto, for the resub. Deuces, I'm giving them three copies of this game away. Whenever we beat hype trains, we already beat one hype train. I already gave away three copies. It, it sounded like you said prepubescent man. But the hype train's ready to go at any point in time. Uh, what do you see, Lawrence? I have this, uh, I have like a big table. There's like a circular dial on it. And it can point to one of four symbols, a circle, a square, a pentagram, or a kind of a gear. Um, but I don't know what that affects. I'll keep exploring. Well, I, like I said, I've got the same, a very similar puzzle. So this time it's uh, a, a compass with, um, let's see here. I'm look, Sorry, I'm, I'm moving toward it. Two circles on the innermost circle, uh, three squares on the middlemost circle, and then... Same deal. Four pentagrams on the outermost cir circle, but this time there are different colored lights. And they were they were changing, by the way. You may have done something that was changing those lights. Is this changing them now? I saw... I think I just saw one of them turn from green to orange. Yep, yeah. Okay, so I guess this dial here changes the lights for you. Right now it's on pentagram. That's right, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at four pentagrams at different positions on a compass with different symbols inside them. Okay, is there anything that you can... Ins like, can you use that information for anything? Because the only thing I can do right now is change the lights, I think. Um... What I can do is rotate what looks like a ship's captain wheel. Do you, I'll, I'll rotate it and see if anything changes. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, something is moving. I can't tell what though. There's this giant wheel in the middle of my room that's spinning when you do that. Okay, so here's what I see. Whenever I do that, the pentagrams then change symbols uh, when I move them. It's basically like the symbols are underneath the uh, the wheel and they change according to where I move move the wheel. I don't know how that helps you. Okay, then I probably have to tell you where to align those symbols. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. So okay. So I'm. Uh, I don't know if you can give me any direction or anything. Any symbols? Well, so the the outermost ring, the pentagrams are lit up right now, right? Uh, right. There's symbols inside the pentagrams. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's what I see. On the, in the top 
topmost spot in north, there's a little wine glass with a cherry in it. There's that symbol. So I guess maybe orient it so it's that way. Uh, okay, well, I did that, but the symbol, it looks like a wine glass, but it looks like there's like an, like an orange slice on the edge of the wine glass. That's, yeah, that's a different one. That's what I see in south. All right, let me, let me change it a little bit. Let me see what I can find. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, all right. So that means that maybe we have reversed because that symbol won't move. The wine glass with the lemon slice, it won't. It, it's always due north. Okay, all right. It's due south for me. So yeah, maybe we just have to flip it. Uh, let me let me check with some other symbols here. Let me see what. Uh, what about east? What do you see east? East is a dude with a wearing a hat, but he's turned to his side, so he'd be looking up. Uh, if you want, I can try to describe it much more literal in terms of its shape. No, I think I know what you're talking about. Hold on. Because um, I East for me is a is a like basically what looks like a person, but their body is an X. Yeah, that's my west. So it, it is just flipped. Huh. Um, all right, well then, the other pentagram is southeast, and it, that's a TV. Actually, yeah, it's the same for me, and that's also southeast for me. Oh. Dodd, I would expect it to be southwest if it were flipped. Well, no, wait, it's, it's flipped on the east-west axis, right? Well, even still, that doesn't quite make sense. I wonder if then I wonder if I can match it. So, yeah, southeast is the TV, and then southwest is like what looks like uh man, it's like squiggly lines, like a woman with curly hair on either side, like a Princess Leia bun. Looks like a butt to me. But yeah, I think I think we're looking at the same symbol. Okay, let's. All right, let me try this again. So, um. North is a uh, wine glass with lemon slice, right? Technically, that's my south, but yeah. Uh, okay, and then directly west is dude with a hat, right? Uh, well, that's my east, but yeah. Okay, and then northeast is uh, like a person in the center of a circle, like a very large circle. Person in the center of sir. I don't see that. Northeast for me is I think I think northeast for me is the curly hair you were talking about. It's like the bobbed haircut in the northeast. Oh boy. Okay. Um because like I can move this. I can I can move the wheel around, but it it doesn't change where the symbols go. So that I just have to maybe maybe you tell me what then where I should, I should move things. Well, he, let's try this too. What happens if I what it, what happens when I do that? What did that change? Okay, yeah. So the green light in the center of the compass lit up. That's the only thing that changed. Uh, yes, that's correct. Well, hold on, let me, let me check. Oh no no no. Okay, all right. So what that does is it changes every single symbol underneath. The circles, squares, and pentagrams. Oh, okay. So the ones that... Can you only move... Uh, I'm trying to... When the light's in a certain configuration, does that lock down certain symbols that you can move otherwise? Right. So every, to every light, when it's green, that means that's the circle that moves. So if the light... Right now, the light is... a. Uh, green in the center which means i can move all of the wheel the, like the whole compass but if you change that light if you light up another part i can move the innermost circle the middle circle or the outermost 
Okay, so we probably have to find some combination of those movements to get your your stuff oriented exactly like what I see, is what I would think. But so when when a particular ring is lit up though, some of them don't move. Uh right, exactly. So if like last time we were moving the outermost circle and that that just moves the only the pentagrams. Okay, but some of them were locked in place and wouldn't move. That's correct. Right, exactly. Only the outer circle moved. The re like the squares and, and circles don't move at all. But the whole outer circle moved every time you moved it. That's right. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. Yeah, it sounds like your ring is 180 degrees flipped from mine. But can you not just rotate the whole thing 180 degrees if I if I set it to this? Yeah, I, I certainly made so like uh well that now I can only move the outer circle. Yeah, so can you rotate it so that the wine glass with the cherry in it is on north? Hmm. Uh only if you change the light <laughs> to the center. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so you you want wine glass with cherry on directly north, right? That's correct. Okay, wine glass with cherry is directly north. All right, now I'm going to switch it over here uh, because maybe you can rotate them independently to make it sync up. So I see wine glass cherry north. TV set northwest X with a little circle for a head as west. Does that match up with what you see? No. Um, so hold on a second. Let me see if I can move. Okay, you said X with a X with a circle is west, right? Yes. And then TV is southeast. TV is northwest. Okay, hold on. Uh, TV is northwest. Hold on. Um. I am not sure. Yeah, I can't move the symbols. I so here's the thing. I can see TV at northwest, but I don't ever have a combination that will then show me. Uh, wine glass with cherry in north. Does that make sense? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, I may have it. Uh, east. East is man with hat. And then southwest is uh, man in middle of circle. I don't know if this is what... I think that sounds right. Uh, man in middle of circle, though. I don't know that I see that. Uh, okay, so here's what I have. I have Northwest TV. Do you have that? Sorry, what? Uh, Northwest TV with a line in the middle of it? Yes, I have TVs in the Northwest and Southeast. Uh, for the pentagrams? Yes. Uh, all right. No, I, I don't have that. So I only have... I have TV with a line in the middle of it at Northwest... Wine glass with cherry in north, man with hat on east, and then man in middle of circle, or I guess what looks like maybe a pumpkin, southwest. Yeah, that matches what I have. Oh, Do you good. not see the good. other symbols as well, the other four? Uh, no, no, I don't because I can't. So now you have to change the lights for me to move the innermost circle or the middle circle. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, so you only see some of the symbols? You don't see them all? Well, I see them all, but they're at different positions. So, like, for example, I can tell you what I have northwest uh, inner circle right now. D does that help? Uh, I mean, w you'll have to adjust it to match. I just, whenever, you're, whenever your rings are lit up, you don't see all, all eight symbols in a given circle, in a given ring. Oh, I do, I do. I but I, I just don't know if they're going to match perfectly with everything else you have because I I can move my circle, my circles, not my symbols, but my circles. 
Yeah, yeah, you probably have to move those to match the symbols that I see. Yeah, yeah. So you tell me you tell me what you've got on on the uh not pentagrams but the circles. All right, innermost ring circles. Yeah, top is top is an iron, kind of looks like an old iron. Um to the northwest and the northeast, two instances of the symbol. Oh wow, there's okay, so there's four of these in in this ring total. There are four of the squiggly line, curved line, and circle configurations at various rotations. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, there's one of those at northwest, there's one of those at northeast, there's one of those at east, and there's one of those at southwest. So there's four of them in total. Uh, west, I have a circle with two semicircles on the top and bottom. Um, south, oh boy. South looks like uh, it's like a semicircle that has a little smoke line coming out of it. Um, it's like an L with a little bump on it and some steam coming off the bump. That yeah, is- yeah, that's it. You got it. Um, so here's here's what I here's what I see. So we should just go through the two for the circle inside the circles because at north and south for inside the circles I have the iron on the north and the south uh, the symbol you just described. So, uh, sorry, I, I didn't catch half of that. Um, what, what did you say? Oh, no worries. Um, so the north is the iron, and then south is that L with a little circle and a smoke line. Okay, so those are, those are oriented correctly. Right, so then I, what I need to do is change the light so that I can change the middle circle. Oh, okay. All right, do you only see those two things? Do we not have anything else to match to? On the in- inside circle? Uh, not for the inside circle, no. For the middle circle, we can match uh, what's in the squares. Okay, interesting. Okay, so in the middle, uh, in the north position, I have, I guess, what would be the alien head, but upside down. So it's a half circle with an eye and then a little antenna. Uh, and then in the south position, I have kind of an alien right side up, except the line on the bottom of the alien head is not connected. Okay, so what I can do is uh, if you want north upside down alien head, right? Yes. Okay, so then from there I only have two other squares. So I have a total of three squares that will show symbols. And I have upside down alien head in north, but then two other symbols in the southwest and southeast. Is that not right? Circle I, and that's in north, but there's two of them, so it could be tricky. Um, hmm. Oh, I know we were C4 mailman. Uh, can you hear me? Roger. Copy that. Okay, so here's... I can only change a little bit. I can only change... Uh, the north symbol is the upside down alien head, and then I've got east is like what looks like a person sitting down. Looks like a person what? Sorry. Uh, uh, sitting sitting down on the east. That's what I've got. Yep. Okay, and then on the... Southwest, I have uh, upright alien head. Yep, that's what I got. Uh, okay, well, I think, I mean, like, I think, it, I feel like we've matched them all. <laughs> yeah, something must be off, though. Uh, hmm. I wish I could see you. All right. So, um, I've got three symbols. On, pointed north. Does that does that matter? It's case don't back don't back. What do you mean by pointed north? So I have three symbols on, directly north of the compass. I have a pentagram, a square, and a circle, all all in north. And then inside those those uh, shapes are the symbols. Yeah, that should that should make sense. Uh, from top to bottom, which is to say, from pentagram to circle, it should be a wine glass with a cherry, upside down alien head, and then an iron. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, I've got that. And then 
I have a pentagram northwest. What do you have for there? So reading northwest out out to in, it's a TV. It looks like kind of like a sailboat, and then circle, curved line, squiggle line. Okay, so here's the weird thing. So right now on my compass, I only have one symbol in the northwest quadrant, uh, and it's the, the TV with a line in the middle of it. Does that mean play the other two were incorrect? Well, well I guess what I'm saying is um, in if you're looking at a compass in northwest, there's only the one pentagram, and that's it. So there's no place at all for the other two symbols? Uh, correct. Yeah, exactly. There's no window to see the other two symbols. Oh, okay. All right. Then that's fine. That's just part of the puzzle. Okay. Um, for west, then, going out to in, I have uh, a an, an cross with a circle, a little man with a head. I have an alien head facing right, except his eyes are one solid dash. And then the innermost symbol is a circle with two semicircles on the top and bottom. Okay, so on my puzzle, there is nothing west. There are no symbols showing west. Okay, do you have symbols showing for southwest? I do. I have one symbol showing southwest, and it looks like it's the pumpkin in a pentagram. Out outermost circle. Okay, what do you see for south? For south, I have innermost circle, and it's the L with a little semicircle and then a smoky, a lot like a smoke over it. Okay, that matches. How about southeast? Southeast, I have no symbols. And east? Uh, east, I have the middlemost circle is like the person sitting down or like, you know, it looks like a maybe a person with one arm and then like split legs. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what I see as well. And how about northeast? Oh, well, okay, and then there's one more east. So I have a square showing the person sitting down and then a pentagram on the outermost circle. It's the man with a hat. Okay, yep, that matches. Uh, and then northeast, I got nothing. Well, that matches everything we can see. That's confusing. So what I can do is, I mean, I... Oh, uh, I wonder if I can, because I now you've got the middle circle lit up, so I can change all these symbols. Is there a button somewhere that we need to push? I would think once once all the dials are oriented correctly, it's it would just click and solve the puzzle, but maybe not. Oh, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, one was hiding. So, uh, southwest, I have a square with an alien head, an upright alien head, uh, and middlemost circle. Yeah, southwest is is an alien head with like a circle eye. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's and that's in the middle circle. I mean, no. Thanks for the resub. What do you mean by middle circle? Well, there's the three circles. There's the inner innermost circle, the middle circle, and the outermost circle. Oh, it's in the middle for me. I don't have any alien heads on the innermost innermost ring. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the alien head is in the middle circle, not the innermost. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that, that matches what I've got. All right, so I also, people are, man, people are saying, like, in my chat, like, line up the dots. Like, I have some dots, but that these are basically just the, uh, what looks like the vault. Again, what's my age again? You don't need to backseat. The dots? Yeah, don't worry about that. It's it's I think it's part of my vault basically. Okay. Uh there was something I was supposed to do on my end. Um oh, this is odd. One second. I think I can see the icons that are lit up that you have visibility on now. But I don't know what that changed. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, I haven't really changed anything. I'll, I'll kind of, I don't know how you're, how you can see like what, what I'm describing. But again, I have the innermost circle, the middle circle, and the outermost circle. And the innermost circle has circles as its shapes. The middle circle has squares as its shapes. 
And then the outermost circle has pentagrams as its shapes. Yeah, I see the same thing. Okay, so... Alright. Now that I, I... There was an item I was supposed to place. As soon as I did, the compass rose in the middle of the puzzle rotated. So, here's the idea. Can you turn every single dial... Let's see here. You would have to turn them two notches to the right. Every single thing turns 90 degrees clockwise. Uh, I did that. I turned them two notches to the right. Okay, so now in north, in the outermost pentagram ring, do you see this the cross with the little circle head, man? That's right. And then I have uh, two more symbols north. And the square, I have uh, upside down, like... You know, antenna head, the semicircle with the line and the antenna. Yeah, Robocop alien. <laughs> okay. And then uh, innermost circle, I have like what looks like a chain. Yeah, okay. I mean, that seems that matches what I've got now. Oh, what's up, thank you. Thank you for the resub. I have specific symbols that are lit up on my side. Um, I guess I can try to read those symbols to you, and maybe it'll make sense from something that you see on your end. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, go for it. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ramble off a few, and maybe it'll, maybe the pattern will make sense. So what's lit up for me? On in north, the outermost X with the circles lit up. Northeast, outermost ring TV in a pentagram. East, there are two symbols that are lit up. Innermost, iron, and the middle, upside-down alien head. Southeast, the outermost symbol, which is the little girl with a bob haircut, is lit up. And then in south, the sim the center symbol is lit up, which is the person sitting or leaping the ballerina. Okay, so that's like half the compass rose. Did any of that match anything that you see on your side? Sort of. Um, uh, so I can only see a total of one, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine symbols fully lit up. Um, but uh, I, that's that's all I can see. And again, I don't know the best way to describe this to you because I see a circle, a square, and a pentagram all north that reveal symbols. I see that too, but only I, I see nine symbols that are lit up as well. So maybe we have the arrangement right. Is there so is there like a master disc that rotates over the whole thing that reveals only a specific subset of symbols? Right. Yeah, I mean like when right now I can turn it so that the whole thing moves. Hold on a second. Okay, so you'll want to you'll want to turn it so that the symbols I listed are the ones that are revealed. Yeah, so um but which which symbol is there's nine of them. Which symbol do you got? Okay, so uh, turn the disc. So in north, only the outermost symbol is revealed. In northeast, only the most outer symbol is revealed. East, the center and middle are revealed. Oh boy, okay, all right. I don't have that. So in north, I have uh, outer, middle, and inner all revealed. Northeast, I have nothing. And then east, I have middle and outer revealed. Oh, okay, yeah, that doesn't match. Doesn't match the pattern that I see here. Hmm. Because that's so strange. Because yeah, I there are nine symbols that are illuminated on my end, but apparently that doesn't match the distribution of nine symbols that are revealed on your end. Uh, when I when I move this, does this change anything to, for you or no? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Um. So. Hmm. Let's see here. So I don't. Yeah, I can only tell you what's what I'm looking at. Uh, does it help if I only tell you what is a, what is exposed on the outer ring? Does that matter? Maybe uh, I see four symbols that are illuminated on the outer ring. How many exposed slots are on the outer ring for you? Yeah, yeah there's four. So what are the symbols? 
the symbols on the outer one are uh, that are that are lit up are North Crossman with a circle, Northeast TV, uh, Southeast Lady with Bob haircut, and then West Wine glass with a orange slice on top. Okay, all right. I think I got it now. All right. So here's what I need to do: change the light to the outermost circle. Okay, all right. So here's what I can. I'm just going to tell you where the symbols should show up: north, uh, northeast, southeast, and west. Is that correct? That's correct. Beautiful. Now we can do the middle circle. So if you change the light to the middle circle, we can figure out where that goes. All right, so you tell me where those those symbols should show up in the middle circle, and I'll try and adjust. That is east, south, and northwest. East, south, and northwest. All right, got that one. Now we can change the inner circle. For this one, it is west and east. Ooh. <laughs> Man, that was a hell of a puzzle. All right. Yeah, that's a that's a real tickler. I like that. And weirdly, I don't even know if the symbols, I mean, I think the symbols made a difference, but maybe we just got lucky. <laughs> I think those are just there to spice up the aspect of trying to communicate this. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, like just the fact that we changed those windows I don't, I'm not even sure if it made a difference. That, it had to be in the same arrangement, so it was part of the solution. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I see you down there. Look up. Oh, oh, there you are. Okay, so what do we, uh, I'm, looks like there's some stairs over here. I'll walk up the stairs. Yeah, I can't. There's not a whole lot for me to do where I am. Another prisoner enters the arena. Survive oh. Trials. I don't know what this is. Um, Got symbols for you, Bruce. Oh! Go to the. Okay. It's a chest piece helmet. Oh. oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, it gives me the symbols you got to step on. All right, got it. I'm, I've, I've, I guess I have to hold this lead ball while I do it. Okay, hammer, uh, sickle. That's in front of you and to the right. Uh, I mean, I see it. So should I just walk straight to it? It's far away. Oh, the panels fall away after you walk over them. All right, next is Battle Axe. And then Club, if you just go forward and then take a right, that seems like a pretty fast way to get there. I don't know if you can walk back over to that tile, though. Oh, you can't! <laughs> Jigsaw got us, Bruce. We got we got puzzled. Uh, thank God I didn't get my arm cut off or my eyes gouged. <laughs> you would have learned a good lesson along the way. <laughs> yeah, I would be dead too. All right, so yeah, chest piece and then helmet. You might want to turn to the right and go to the wall first, so you don't cut yourself off. Okay, and then it's shield and then whip. And then trident, so yeah, if you just go forward to the wall, turn right, you're good. Yes. Yes. I know the music.
Easy. Fuck off, Jigsaw. Yeah, fuck off, Jigsaw. We're too smart for you. Uh oh. <laughs> I know. That's a shit. Okay. Oh, shit. I was supposed to memorize the sh the patterns before I started it. My bad. Uh. I can't see the... So, okay. So, I pull a lever to start it. But... Oh, it's timed, too? Oh, my God. But, uh... <laughs> Here's the symbols for me, so we're going to have to start over. Ah, okay, hammer, guillotine, trident, noose, sickle. Hammer, guillotine... No, no, no not yet. Okay. Here we go. I don't know where the hammer is. Noose, sickle. All right, hammer, guillotine. Wait, what the hell? Oh, you just have to be standing on it when time runs out. Uh, what do I have to stand on? Because if there's so many symbols, does it, does it, it just doesn't matter. Oh, did it? Was it? Did you not hear me saying the symbols? Oh no, I I heard all of them, but it's just any one of them will work. You have to do it in order, uh, and you Got just it. have to stay on there when time is out, because it. it's the only one that stays standing. So Got it. That makes sense. You just have to remember the order. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I'm ready. So club, sickle, club, sword, sickle. Okay. Okay, so just go to club and wait there. Got it. Easy. Easy. Club, sickle, club, sword, sickle. Club, sickle, club. Club, sickle, club, sword, sickle. Club, sickle, club, sword, sickle. <laughs> over. Uh, over now. All right, sickle, right? Yep, straightforward. Should be good. Club, sickle, club, sword, sickle. We're on sickle. <laughs> Sarah. Good reference. Club sickle, club sword sickle. Alright. That means club is next. Club sickle, club sword sickle. <laughs> club, sword, and then sickle. Uh oh, there's two swords. I think it's the the curved one close to the edge. Club, sickle, club. I'm on club. Yeah, the curved one would be a scimitar. Is it a scimitar? I think I think it's a scimitar. Sword. Perhaps a tall war. <laughs> Vanquist. I feel good about this. Even if you die, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Just so you know. <laughs> I know. I know that. Okay, I don't want you worrying about that. <laughs> yes. Clubs up. Clubs are tickle. Club sickle, club scimitar sickle. Nice, got it. Fuck you, Jigsaw. I'm king of the world. Nice, Brian. Eat shit, Jigsaw. All right. What do you got, Lawrence? All right. Helmet, noose, sickle, iron maiden guillotine. So you're going to have to direct me through. Yeah. You're going to have to direct me through because I can't see. Okay. Uh, turn left. And then go forward to the wall and then turn right. Go past this wall on your right. Keep going. And then once you pass it, turn right. Go forward one and then turn right again. 
Whoa. Okay, then go forward. Okay, now go forward to the sickle. And then you can just turn left and then go to the wall in front of you. And then take another left to go to the Iron Maiden. And then you can just go all the way forward and then take a left when you hit the wall to the guillotine. That should be it. Hell. <laughs> Eat shit, Jigsaw! Eat shit! Oh, that's another one of these. Ancient jail is easy. So easy. Huh, this one's got bonus icons. I don't know what that's all about. Eat shit! Okay, this one's mace. No, flail, axe, mace, axe, trident. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on you. Let's try. I'm gonna rely on you. You tell me what it was. What was it? Flail, axe, mace, axe, trident. Flail, axe, make mace. Flail. Uh, flail, axe, mace, axe. I think it added bonus ones. I'm not sure what this means. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna guess there's bonus ones that you're not allowed to step on. Oh. Famat. Okay, all right. Do you know which ones I'm not allowed to step on as well? It doesn't tell me until we start it. But it okay, so now we got scimitar, guillotine, sickle, axe, scimitar. But those will stay there. Now I just have a list of things you can't step on. So let's see your scimitar. Oh, man, scimitar is all the way on the other end of the arena. Okay, I'm going to pull the lever and let's see what we can't step on. You cannot step on shield, flail, or axe. Shield, flail, or axe. Okay. Yeah. You're almost there. Good stuff. Next is going to be guillotine after this round. Okay, and then also same deal, right? Yeah. D same deal, I can't step on shield, flail, or axe? It might shuffle after this... After this turn, let's see what happens. It is shuffling. All right, guillotine, but you can't step on helmet, hammer, or shield. Helmet. A shield! Oh, Fuck! Fuck you, Jigsaw! <laughs> I like this. These are pretty good, pretty good puzzles. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Okay, first up is hammer. You can't step on guillotine, helmet, or ch chest piece. Oh yeah, you gotta go all the way around. And go to shield in front of you. And then to dagger, to mace, to hammer. Noise, noise, noise. Yeah, a little bit, C4. Okay, now you can't step on helmet, noose, or axe, and you have to get to Iron Maiden. Helmet, noose, or axe. Let's see. Yeah, you can go to chest piece, to shield, to flail, to sickle, to Iron Maiden. Scary. Okay, new restricted symbols. Shield, a dagger, and noose. You're trying to get to trident. Shield, dagger, and noose. Yeah, you can just go down that way. Got it. Oh, I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Don't give him the satisfaction. <laughs> You're right. I'm not scared, Jigsaw. I'm not. Not scared. 
All right, no helmet, hammer, or dagger, and you're trying to get to guillotine. No helmet, hammer, or dagger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it, it helps when you're Overwatch too. You can tell me. All right, Sarah, get some uh, get some rest. I got an eye on you. Okay, last one is scimitar. You cannot step on shield, flail, or helmet. Shield, helmet. Yeah, you got it. Imagine the look on Jigsaw's face. <laughs> what? Impossible. No one escapes my domain. Guards. Guards? And we're playing Legends of the Hidden Temple. It's a creepy man. Let's, oh, hey. Aha! Hello! <laughs> yeah, a land. I'm in some sewers down here. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm following you. That was the only way, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, past splits here. I'll go this way. I'm following you. I'm scared. Oh. This is nice. Nice little cave. Yeah, no jigsaw. It's great. You can't touch us in here. Oh, this is scary. It's kind of Sea of thieves -y. It It absolutely is. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thunderdome? Yes. This is really creepy. Help me! It's time for a boss fight. Oh! Clueless, fuck off. Oh, hold still a while, won't you? <laughs> oh, oh. I apologize Ooh. for receiving you. This is this fun. State. I know, it's an Elden Ring boss fight. I've cleaned, but these bonds cannot be broken. Only my king can set me free. Penance! <laughs> he calls this <laughs> penance! Uh, I say he's proving a point. Do you hear? 
Yeah, a little bit, a uh, little girl. His soul is merged with the keep. All you see. Yeah, this is fun. My king is, and my king sees all he is. <laughs> and yet, he sees you not. Isn't that delightful? <laughs> this guy's a nerd. <laughs> no, anybody that likes steampunk is a fucking nerd. Utterly unremarkable. I like that my radio still lights so up. Unlike myself. Oh yeah, does it? So practical. You can see the little light turn on. <laughs> now, if you go. <laughs> I think we're going back to prison, Bruce. Oh, like a level select? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. It totally is. Well, actually, wait. Hold on. I'm I'm at number five. What number are you? One. Oh, what? What'd you do? You just did something. I just opened a heart door, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what that's doing. Oh, okay. I saw you walk through the tunnel. I can't tell if what you're changing is changing mine. Do you know? You have a club switch, right? Uh, I don't know. Lawrence, I think what you're... Is what you're doing changing mine? I, I had a heart labeled switch and I only hit it a few times. Because right now I am on changing, or maybe it's on a timer. Maybe I'm right now. I'm on a diamond ramp. I'm on a diamond ramp too. I can't get back to the heart switch that I was messing around with just a second ago. Yeah, me either. So I just came out of a door that goes up a heart ramp and a spade ramp. Are there any switches you can reach right now? Because I can't reach any of them. Hold on, let me let me look. I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Okay, yeah, I can change the spade ramp, and that's it. Okay, uh, hit it and let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, that changed. Okay, I can move forward now, and now I can get to the diamond switch. Uh, I'm which here too. Yeah, what you're doing is changing mine too. <laughs> yeah, we we change each other's for sure. Oh, club. Yeah, you're right, club. Um. So I'm kind of locked off right now. The only thing I can do is I think you have to change. You have to hit a diamond uh, switch. Did that do it? It did. I have like no switches to hit at all over here. I have access to diamond and club. 
You need spade, though, it looks like. Uh, I think if you hit diamond, maybe can you hit diamond? Yeah, one second. By the way, are, are we trying to go up or down? We're trying to go up, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh... Hmm. Can we you hit diamond again? What's up, Uchi? Yeah, I'm stuck on this platform. I think if... Watch, if you hit diamond again... Then I'll, I can only go down. Yeah, if, if we could tr change the heart ramp from there, there's somewhere you could get, but I can't reach a heart switch from where I'm at. Maybe. Let's try it. Uh, maybe You might be able to hit the diamond switch and maybe I can, maybe I can stand on it while it moves? I don't know. I just hit it. It doesn't look like it moves if you're on it. Yeah, then I, I got, I'm stuck. <laughs> so yeah, let's hear. You can backtrack. I don't know what... Um, well, there's an eight door all the way at the bottom. Um, let's see here. That would spit you out there. And then I can... Yeah, let's let's see where that goes. Hey, Chunky Little Pig Clown. Thanks for the reset, Chunky. Yeah, this is... Now you can go to six. That's where I started. So I'm actually just going back to where I started. Yeah, but we have to we have to change some. Oh, that's nine. Okay, we got to figure out how to. Oh, you have okay. So you have a green switch right there, right? Yeah, yeah. I have the club, the green club switch here. Okay, let me see if that is there a diamond switch on your side. I have not seen one in my travels. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like you've just got club and spade. Um, hmm. What do I need to progress here? Let me think. I think I might be able to figure something out here. So, can you use the club uh, switch? Okay, now if I can get over there, wherever that is, then maybe I can go higher platform. Maybe? Where is that? Because you can see me on the other side over here too, right? Yeah, I'm kind of following you, but I mean like the... I can hit the club one again, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. Yeah, hit it again. Let's see. Oh yeah, that didn't help. Uh, <laughs> so, dang. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to move to a new spot. Yeah, Tony, it kind of is. <laughs> but that, you know, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle game. If I could get like one level up from where I am now, that would help. Um, try hitting club again. Yeah, this is just taking me back. There was a, I had a heart switch back here. Yeah, here's a heart switch. So I think if I, okay. Yeah, okay. Now you can get back to different areas. Is there anything down there? No, this is like, this is it. I, I'm stuck. Oh, this is where I started. This is where I started. Okay, yeah, head up. Yeah, go up there and then I'll... Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, okay. And then if, yeah, if we can construct a... Oh, wait, are you trapped there now? Uh, yeah, I'm trapped. I can't move. OK, 
Okay, and then if I do this... Okay. You can... Yeah, change the club door. Oh wait, yeah, this is my... This is my... This is my starting position, too. Okay, alright. Going up here. I'm through there. Alright, can you hit the club? Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uh... Oh, you might have to hit club again. Yeah. You don't... Yeah, let's see here. You can't get to the spade switch. I actually may be able to... If you go back up, I may be able to change something for you, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, no, no. It locked you in. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, wait, do it again? Yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay, so this is back where I was. Where I... Yep, there's a couple of diamond ramps that I could use, but I don't know how I get back to them, because diamond has to be in a particular way for me to get back there. Huh. So let's see. How do we Not get really you higher? Uh, I can, yeah, I can change this now. I think I think you're out of the wood. Next door connects through to that. Okay. Yeah, if you walk through your door. You can go up there. I know we've done this before. I'm just retracing things. Well, I like you all the way down there. Yeah. Well, you need uh you need diamond, right? That's right, yeah. Oh, you need club. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oh, and then wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Turn around. Uh, I think I can... I can swap the club ramp now and get you up to the nine door. At least I think this will work. Yeah, there we go. It totally is, Seifer. It totally is. So now you can use the spade switch. Well, you need a di It looks like you need a diamond ramp or a diamond switch. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't know what spade really gets us. Um, is diamond was on my side? No, diamond is on my side, and I think it's only on my side. What I need to be is like on the other side of this gap. So. Oh, sorry. Uh, man, I talk. I keep talking without the push to talk on. Oh. Anyway, if I could get one level up from where I am now, that's kind of where I feel like I need to go. So I need to be on the other side of this ramp, but I don't know how to get over there. It's the it would be the diamond switch, but I I don't know where that where is that diamond switch. It's on my side. It's it's right here. I think this is the only diamond switch we've got. Oh yeah, you so you have to hit it. Well, I, if I want to get on this side, I how can I get to the other side of this ramp without changing the diamond ramp? Does that make sense? Yeah, let me let me see. I, I let me see if I have. Do I have a diamond switch? I don't think you do. Like, is... In this direction, is there a way for me to get to, to that platform over there so that I can take this ramp up to above where I am right now? Yeah, no, the, di the diamond switch. Hit, flip that switch. Yeah, but then, so, what I want to be is I want the ramp to be in the other configuration, but for me to be one floor down from where I am now so that I can take the ramp up. Is there a way for me to get over there? Oh, from, you mean straight over? No, there isn't. That that ramp only goes diagonal both ways. 
Right. So, is there a way for me to... I see a spade ramp um, across the way. How can I get to the other side of this gap? Okay, yeah. So, so go uh, go to your... Behind you, walk down the spade or the diamond ramp. Mm-hmm. Shit, that didn't do it either. All right, so you would have to fall... I don't know. You'd have to go down the other way. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Seifer! Paying it forward from Ringoing to Holy Dongus. Thank you, Seifer! Holy Dongus, spread that love. So, I think you might have to backtrack to your club switch. If this is the way for me to get on the other side where I was trying to go. Uh, I don't know that I can. Hold on. BA80, thanks for coming back. Thanks to Shin. Yeah, I don't think I can. I don't, I, this is, I'm kind of stuck here. Thanks, Muffin Man. <laughs> yeah, leave the spade switch like it... Wait, hold on a second. Okay, yeah, leave the spade switch where it is, and let me see if I can... Ah, oh, darn it. Yeah, you, you need... I can do something with that. So there's the problem is that then you would you would flip another club switch and that would bring the club up to you. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't do that from this position. Uh did I have a club switch? I I didn't have a club switch, right? You did. Yeah, it's next to your sixth door. Oh boy, that's far away. Hold on. All right, you may have to backtrack then and flip that club switch up there on your own because this is a club ramp. You are right. Oh boy, we gotta change that one too, don't we? Yeah, but... What the fuck? Oh, thanks, Max. Um... Because it's... The switch is directly above me, and I... Think I need you to switch the heart switch now? Yeah, I think so. That's That's a pretty far backtrack, but I can I can get there. Uh, can you hit the club for me? Um, I don't know where is it? Hold on. Yeah, I don't I don't have that. Um I mean, it looks like maybe I need a heart switch flipped. I don't have access to the heart at the moment, but I can try to guide you back to the club switch. Where are you? Well, I'm um yeah you would need to go to five uh yeah see what i'm saying is like if i if you flip that hard switch it'll take me directly to that club right there 
Right, but you have to hit the club for me to get back to my heart switch. Oh, man. Just wish I could see the other half of my my field. I don't know how to get to the other side of this ramp. So let's let me think. Oh, the number's random. Oh, no, it's getting late. My brain's dying. I know. Me, me too. Me too. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, my somebody in my chat asked if the numbers were random, and I I maybe. No, they connect doors. They're they're teleporters. Right, but I mean, like in terms of like doing them in a sequence, like. Yeah, I don't know that it, candles. It's kind of weird because I don't know that it matters. Because like I'm at seven. Do do you want to try and uh, where was one? One is it one at the top or one at the bottom? It's at the bottom. You you're supposed to go through the doors. You end up going through the doors in sequence. I don't think the numbers have a ton of significance aside from just telling you where the teleporters connect. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So let's see. Let's see to seven. I mean, I can change that diamond for you, but I'll put you down there. That's no good. Yeah, I mean, like, it'll. It'll put me down there if you want. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get you back to the... Oh, so tough! Here, I'm trying to get you back to the green switch. Where's the other eight? Yeah, I don't see eight. Uh, is it on my, my eight? Must be on my side, right? Yeah, it's all the way down at the bottom. Um, cause that's yeah, that's where I, where you need to go. God damn, that sucks. Uh, there's got to be another way to do that. Maybe. Hopefully, you don't have to backtrack all the way to the beginning just to get to that switch. But it seems like that might be the case. Yeah, I think that was sort of what happened before. All right. Yeah, go through the seven door. Let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, run all the way down to the eight door. Yep, headed down. Okay, one second. Now you need club. Okay, that'll put you at the switch. So, okay, uh, hang tough there for just a second. Let me try something. I'm hoping that since you hit the spade, when I backtrack, I'll be able to take a ramp I wasn't able to take before. Okay, can you hit the club, please? Yeah, I know what you're saying, because I think since we both hit the club at the right time, it should it should work. Okay, now I have access to a spade ramp. Um, let's see. Um, okay, can you can you tell me? Is there any way for me to get under where I'm standing right now? Uh, yes. Yeah, so what you'd have to do is go across from there, directly across, and then go down by me switching a uh, spade ramp. Okay, how do I get? across from here I don't know that you can I am right now so I can take the ramp up to that platform I 
me, where am I? Oh, good to be. Um, do you have any way to get to a, to the to your? You probably can't get to your um, spade switch, can you? I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Yeah, hold on. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Looks like you need you need me to hit a club. Uh yeah, can you or Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. No. Wait, oh I can hit spade. Never mind. Hold on. Okay, I can hit club now. Oh There we go. Okay, I made it to my exit. So hopefully I can help you with you with your your shit now. All right, what do you need? Um, well, it looks like hold on, let me. I was I think I was headed up, so let me make sure that I. No, this is all the way down. I I'm kind of in a spot right now where I'm looking at a uh diamond ramp, and I think I need you to flip diamond. No, that that did it. That did it. That that's that's good. Okay, uh, spade? Except now. I think I can do that. Yeah. Spade? Can you hit spade? I can. Yeah. I think that's got it. Yeah! We both have to turn the key, right? I hope so. I want that final victorious key turn. Aha! There it goes. Nice! That was a tricksy one. Oh! Oh! Look at this! I see you up there! Whoa! This is trippy. You want to you want to stop right there? It's on your little your little gambling ring. You want to you want to stop right here? This is this is fucking trippy. Yeah, we can we can call it here. We've uh we've proved our intellectual superiority. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks for thanks for recommending this game or finding it. This is pretty cool stuff. Oh yeah, it just came out a couple days ago and uh they were I they actually emailed me were like hey do you want to play this and this was after I suggested it to you so they gave us keys after I suggested it all works out plan came together well thanks for playing Bruce oh yeah thanks for joining me man I'll catch you later all right see you buddy